Every single time we hear about a new fragrance from a particular brand, we get excited. Sometimes not as much. This time around, I'm gonna share with you another exclusive release. This is the sixth flanker, the second Middle Eastern exclusive rendition of this brand. We're talking about Emporia Money, the Stronger With You line of fragrances. This is Stronger With You Oud. Stick around. Welcome back to another video, I'm Max Forte. If you love to smell great, make a great first impression, this is a great place to be. So hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the little bell so you get these videos straight into your feed. Today we're talking about Stronger With You Oud, brand new from the Middle Eastern market. This is still sealed, I just got this a couple days ago. I am dying to try the damn thing, but I said I'm not gonna open until I get on camera to share with you guys my exact thoughts on this fragrance, how it compares with the other one, you know, the original DNA from the from the, the first one that came out in 2017, which is that caramel vanilla with a little nutty vibe, you know, a little booziness to it. People love this scent, women love this fragrance. It's a compliment magnet, it smells great, it smells sophisticated, elegant, a little bit boozy, a little bit gourmandy. It is a great scent. Let's see if this one here measures up to the others. So earlier in the video I said this is the sixth flanker, in fact that is the exactly what it is. It's the sixth flanker, the second Middle Eastern, but let's see how many they've had so far because I get confused myself. I don't know about you guys. So let me look on my phone here. We're checking out on Fragrantica.com. So the first one that started it all, as we know, is a Stronger With You 2017 release. People loved it. It's got that, like I said, caramel, vanilla, sweet, gourmandy kind of a vibe with a nutty uh, undertone. Then we had in 2019, Stronger With You Intensely. Then we had Stronger With You Freeze, Stronger With You Absolutely. I'm gonna pass it all here on the screen so you guys can see the transition, what the bottles look like and all that stuff. Then we had Emporio Armani, Stronger With You Leather, which I actually have it right here up to this point. It is my favorite. And then we had uh, this year, earlier this year, Stronger With You Only, which I also talked about here on the channel. And now, 2022, also another release in the Middle Eastern market, Stronger With You Oud. Guys, let me crack this open because I can't wait any longer. Let's go. All right guys, so my favorite is leather. So right now, stop the video. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite Stronger With You from the whole lineup. Taking away the Oud if you haven't tried that one yet. Let me know in the comments. I wanna know which one you guys favor so far. All right, so let's look at the box. Guys, presentation real quickly. In the back here, you have all the ingredients. It's written in Arabic also because it is from the Middle Eastern market. It is made in France. The box is very similar to all the other boxes. The only difference here is the color scheme. Black on gold, love it, and pour our money. Eau de Parfum concentration, let's do it. And by the way, this is not readily available, but if you guys want to know where I got this, I will share with you very soon so you guys can get yours as well. Most likely will be in the description of this video. So it's one of those beautiful gold and black bottles. Love it. You got the batch code here that should match the box as well. And we're going for the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Emporio Armani Stronger With You Oud. Great sprayers. All right, so here's the deal. This is a great smelling fragrance. In fact, it'll share similarities with other oud designer fragrances. So it's an entry level oud. It's not gonna be skanky, animalistic, medicinal. It's not gonna have anything daring about this oud. It's gonna be that very clean, um, intriguing, mysterious, but clean. Very appealing, very inviting type of a oud, just like Bo uh, Boss, you know, bottled oud. It's gonna be very much the same. It's gonna have a little bit of a powdery kind of a vibe. There is a little bit of a rosy kind of an undertone. Let's look at the actual notes. So from the notes here, looking at the notes, they only give us three notes to look at. Provencal lavender, which I'm not getting much lavender, but I can see a little bit of a touch of a greenness to it, which makes it maybe a little bit more mature than some of the uh, more youthful releases out there. You do have vanilla and you do have oud. So they kept, you know, a lot of the DNA from the original, but it's really not overly sweet. It's not syrupy sweet. It's not gonna be like intensely or absolutely. Those are very heavy on the sweet vanilla caramel kind of a note. This one here is gonna have the vanilla more of a supportive note. The star player is the oud, which is a little bit powdery. Of course, there's a lot more notes than we're gonna see here from these three. And I can tell you, as this gets more readily available, more people talking about it, I'm gonna look into it, but I, I bet you, if I do a full re review on this with longevity, projection, all that stuff, I'll get into like more notes and I do get a sandalwood here. There's somewhat of a creaminess here. Could have also cypress here. I love that they gave this fragrance a youthful, playful, sweet, 
romantic vibe, but there's also that mature feel with the green, the lavender, perhaps cypress, and the sandalwood. It's a very well-balanced fragrance, guys. In fact, what I'm gonna do for you guys is part of this first impression, I'm actually gonna wear this today. I'm gonna spray on skin. And then what I'll do is I'll pause this video and I'll get the opinion of my wife. I'm gonna wear this throughout the day. In another two or three hours, I'll come back and give you guys more details on this fragrance. But I'm telling you right now, it is beautiful smelling. Right now, from a first impression standpoint, I'm giving this one an eight out of 10. It is really, really good. This is not gonna be more of the same. It's not gonna be one of those fragrances that you're gonna find at your general store. So definitely worth you guys looking into this one. But I'll be back in a few. All right, guys, so I'm back. Here's the deal. It's been almost three hours that I've been rocking this fragrance. My wife likes it, she doesn't love it. Uh, but again, she's not a big fan of oud fragrances anyway, so no surprises there. I do enjoy it a lot. I think that eight, eight and a half is where I'm gonna land at this point. Uh, I need to wear this more, really experience the, the whole thing, projection, uh, transition, development, you know. Um, but here's the deal. It does project quite good. It gives you a really nice scent bubble. Um, and the projection is gonna be, from what I'm getting here, over two and a half, three hours. It's really emanating. I think as your body warms up, it's gonna to continue to push, which is nice. So I think performance will be good. If you guys, again, wanna see a full review, leave me a like, I'll come back and do a full review. In fact, I could do like an overview of the all, you know, Stronger With You collection, telling you guys a little bit of everything about each one of those. If you wanna do that, if this video hits enough likes, I'll come back and do that. And in fact, to give you guys more of a defined smell here, if you're familiar with Stronger With You leather, which I love, it's sweeter than this, but this particular one, the Oud one, borrows the saffron, the leathery undertones and nuances from this one. So it's like you took this fragrance, you decrease the level of sweetness that you get with all the other flankers, and you amped up the actual leather here, and then you also added the Oud that I'm talking about, which has that rosy facet, it's a little bit powdery, still retaining sweetness, but not overly sweet but also very romantic, very seductive, great for evening wear. I think this is perfect for romantic settings, evening wear, night out, dress your occasions. And if you're looking into getting into Oud fragrances, but you're really not sure, I think it's a great one to check it out. And again, I'll have it below described where I found it, where you can find it. If there's a code associated with it, of course, I'm gonna share with you. But I think right now, overall, first impressions, this is going to be an eight, eight and a half out of 10. This is a solid release from the House of Emporia Money. I'm really digging this one. Also, when you look at the classification, guys, they're classing this as an uh, ambery fougere. So there is like the amber, sweet, resinous vibe to this, to this fragrance. It has a lot of great nuances that I love in fragrances. The woodiness, the spiciness, uh, the ambery facets, the resins. Uh, it is a great scent, guys. I'm telling you, uh, for someone really getting into oud fragrances, so if you want something special, unique, and different, Take a look at this one. And as always, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I, I hope you guys appreciated this first impression. If you wanna know more about this house, if you want me to do like an overview, be sure to leave it in a like, and also don't forget to let me know in the comments which one is your favorite from this line so far. As always, guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Leave a like, subscribe for more, and touch the little bell if you haven't already. And as always, wear what truly moves you. I'll see you guys again very soon. Take care.